Chengdu is China's sci-fi capital, and I'm here to explore the relationship between technology and fiction, starting at the World Science Fiction Convention. So the inspiration from Star Wars,、yeah. from Three Body Problem. This is our map. Now you can see that the map has a lot of rocks. It uses a fluorescent laser technology. This is literally what I dreamed of when I was watching Star Trek: The Next Generation. And I wanted a holodeck, and that's basically it. This is our story. It's a story about artificial intelligence. So, we hope to inspire you to think about how artificial intelligence will come after us, how we should think about how artificial intelligence will come after us, and how we should think about how artificial intelligence will come after us. 我们这次展会的话，是我们《流浪地球》正版手游的一个呃展会的展示。然后我们希望我们的粉丝可以在这边感受到我们一个非常纯正的一个科幻的环境，也希望我们科幻的粉丝能够在这个展会里面每天都玩得非常的开心。Next, I head to the Eastern Suburb Memory Park. Built in the 1950s to manufacture electronics, the site has been repurposed as a haven for the fine and technological arts. Featuring VR, AR, and other interactive technologies, galleries encourage patrons not just to view the art, but interact with it. Just look at this cute jellyfish alien I made. It's well known that many technological innovators are also avid sci-fi readers, so I'm rounding out my Chengdu sci-fi experience at a local exhibition by a Chinese publishing house, whose mission is to share Chinese sci-fi with the world. I think first is cultural sharing. I think that all countries in the world have their own culture and heritage. So, there is a strong connection between different cultures and cultures. 一个文化不是为了从另外一个文化中这个汲取和学习什么，但起码这种文化分享也能带来乐趣，呃，带来其他一些精神上的喜悦和收获。No doubt, technology will continue to be an imaginative springboard for creators, and innovators will continue to draw upon the myriad of books, films, and games in the genre. Chengdu is no exception, and will continue to be a rising star in the sci-fi firmament.